right, the question is, what camera should I buy for filming my hunts? There's a lot of options. You can start with point and shoot. You can start with GoPro. Uh, you can start with the DSLR. A lot of options. I think overall, all around good camera is a uh, bridge style camera. I have the Panasonic FC200. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that camera, how it's done for me and, and uh, what I need to upgrade to next. So let's check it out. This is a bridge camera. So they call it a bridge camera because it bridges the gap between a uh, point and shoot and a DSLR camera. A DSLR camera is gonna have the interchangeable lenses. Everything on the bridge camera is all intact. Um, the zoom on this one is 24 uh, times optical zoom. Then it has a little bit, I think four times digital after that. Uh, digital is not as good. You wanna get as much optical zoom as you can for uh, those far shots. And the, the cool thing about this one is it has uh, the aperture is 2.8, so that's really good, really fast, and it's all th through all uh, magnifications. So some of those other cameras that are um, maybe have a longer optical zoom aren't going to have that good of an aperture. So that's something that makes this camera really nice. Right there, there's a couple goats. So looking at some of the features I look for in a hunting camera to film, um, I really want to be able to have a pop-out lens in case I, if I'm filming from a tree stand, uh, sorry, pop-out screen, um, I can move it up and down if it's lower than, than I am. If I need to talk to the camera to say what happened, I can turn it around and, and point it and make sure that I'm in the frame. Um, that's a big, big deal. Uh, the other thing is when you're hiking around with uh, binoculars, those cameras that just have the screen on the back, for me, my binoculars are gonna be hitting, hitting that and scratching it up. So it's nice that I can simply uh, cover it up if I'm gonna be hiking around. Uh, something I definitely need to have for um, a camera is a mic port. So a spot where I can uh, put in my, my uh, microphone because it gets windy out there. Some of my earlier videos, it gets windy and it just cuts at the mic. This is a cheap, uh, uh, a shotgun mic I got on Amazon, I think for $30. This is a wind muff that helps uh, cut through or help keep some of the wind from cutting through. I'll put a link in the bottom uh, the description so you can go out to Amazon and check it out just to see which one it is. Uh, if I was to do it again, I would get a Rode mic, which I probably will in the future um, because this is powered um, by its own battery. The Rode mics, I understand, are plugged into the camera. So you turn off the camera, it's gonna stop taking power. With these, it's super easy to forget that it's on because there's no light. So um, not the best best microphone, but it definitely has made a difference. I had to get a an adapter to make it be able to fit the, uh, the input. The other thing I want in a hunting camera is a good battery. This battery will take up to 540 shots. That's huge. So uh, the other cameras are gonna be around uh, I think 380, that new FC 300 is gonna be around 380 pictures. Um, some of the other DSLRs around the 380, 400 range. But for, man, on a, on a mountain goat hunt when we were uh, out there, I just used one battery for the first couple days and then I switched to the other one just as a backup and um, I was still fine. But when you're out in the back country, you wanna have something that's gonna last or you gotta have a couple backup batteries and uh, you wanna get the quality ones. I bought the Lumix or the one that came with it was the Lumix, and um, the other off-brand ones I've tried, they, they haven't lasted uh, near as long. So the other thing about this camera is it is durable. I have uh, I've fallen down a couple times. I jumped over a barbed wire fence. I got snagged in the pants and then uh, fell down and arms first and then this hit the ground. Uh, we've been cleaning out an animal while this was recording and fell over, hit the dirt. On the elk hunt this year, I was filming on the four-wheeler. And uh, I got some fine dust uh, in the mechanism. I'm, I'm sure I got in there in the zoom. I got up on top of the mountain. I tried to zoom in, just having some uh, zoom error, had to turn off the camera, and uh, it just kind of hasn't been the same ever since. I think I'll be upgrading to uh, the, pan the next version of this, which is the Panasonic uh, FC300. The, the main pieces that make it better, components are it shoots in 5K, 4K, uh, it has a faster shutter speed. It's like one sixteen thousandth of a second. 
and has Wi-Fi enabled, um, has some different slow motion settings, has time lapse setting. Uh, so this this camera has been king for like the last five years. If you look at any comparison chart, the FC 200 compared to other bridge cameras, uh, this is going to be ranked really high up there um, in a lot of the categories that I mentioned. So uh, this has been great, durable, but it's time to upgrade. So I'm going to save some money. The Panasonic FC 300 is about $500, and I think that's what I'll be going with next. But let me know if you guys think there's something else I should consider uh, going with. The DSLR cameras, they're super nice. They're going to take better pictures um, with low light settings. It's going to be higher quality images, video, um, but you have extra extra lenses, extra equipment, and it's a lot more expensive. And I am really hard on my gear when I'm out there hunting. I want to just be able to hunt and just rely on my gear and not focus on making sure I don't drop it or uh, bump it. So that's why I really like the bridge camera for hunting. Uh, all, overall, just good camera. You can use it in a tree stand, use it on the ground, all that kind of stuff. So. That's my take on it. Uh, let me know what you think. And if this is the first time to the channel, go check out our other videos. We do product reviews, uh, adventure videos, um, just kind of anything around hunting, knowledge of hunting, and we like to have fun. So definitely check it out. Thank you.